When remodeling a shower, the most important thing to consider is waterproofing. Unfortunately, most people do it wrong or they're cutting corners. I know countless of shower pan waterproofing horror stories. Um, it's all about leaks and callbacks, right? They take time, it costs you money, and it will absolutely hurt your reputation. When we think of waterproofing in clients, a lot of the questions they ask surrounding a bathroom remodel never deal with waterproofing the shower or properly dealing with waterproofing. And maybe it's because they don't understand the process or they just trust us to build and install our systems according to industry best practices. Are we? The reality is that bathrooms are blotched more than any other room in the house. So look, the confusion with showers, it, it stems or lies in the terms of waterproof versus moisture proof. Waterproof means water will not pass through it. The tile, the setting, the mortar, the grout, the caulking, the, uh, and the sealers that we use might be water resistant, but they are not waterproof. I recommend when installing a, water, a shower, you install a 100% waterproof shower system that's gonna protect your shower from the shower head all the way down to the drain. Many of us are simply stuck in time. We're doing things the way we always have done them because it seems to work okay. Most shower installations, they, they involve or used to involve copper shower pans or, or PVC vinyl pans, mud floors, cement backer board on the walls, mesh tape, thin set, and liquid waterproofing sealer. Regardless of the details, a traditional shower installation, it requires at least three tradespeople and at least a five-step process. And that process is, you gotta install the drain in the pan, you have to install the wall cement boards, install a mud floor, um, you have to tape and coat the seams, and then at least two coats of waterproofing membrane on the, on the walls and floor, which many contractors skip. So here's the problem. Concrete cement board offers dimensional stability in wet areas, yes, um, but it, in other words, it's not gonna swell when repeated moisture and exposure to moisture from a shower, but thin set mortar, tile, grout, none of that stuff, and cement board is really waterproof. It doesn't give you a waterproof um, system. Some tile absorbs very little water, while grout and natural stone is almost porous. So lastly, and water, uh, sealing the shower, lots of people are like, oh, I waterproof seal my shower. No, sealing the shower really just protects the grout from body oils and soaps and staining. So there's a problem with the old way of doing things, right? Standing water actually gets trapped in the shower pan below the tile level. When that happens, moisture will wick up the walls behind the tile and you'll start to see mold lines and at the wall to floor transition. You'll also see it along the curve and maybe even in recessed niches um, if they're exposed to enough water. So the newer way or better way, and we like to talk about best practices here, is using a waterproof shower system like Schluter system. It provides an all-inclusive package that contains all of the components that you need to create a waterproof shower assembly with or without a mortar bed. As a remodeler trying to coordinate and a project with other subcontractors, a complete system, waterproof system like Schluter, it dr dramatically reduces my total installation time, as well as my oversight time. The system, um, the boards that I use are lighter than cement board, easier and faster to cut with less mess. The Schluter shower system also goes further. It offers a complete line of components, including shower curbing. They have um, uh, waterproofing strips, curdy band. They have seamless inside and outside corners and pipe and mixing valve seals, which is great. It just completes the whole waterproofing process. Schluter offers um, two ways to waterproof a shower wall. And basically you're gonna either use the, the curdy membrane or curdy board. And the curdy membrane, um, I'm not that comfortable with, but it, it's basically, it's a membrane that you apply over a solid backer surface. It could be drywall, it could be cement board. Uh, the curdy board is a lightweight waterproof panel that you install similar to cement board and you fasten it to the studs. These two options, they allow you to deal with many different shower applications and situations and, and, and allow you to problem solve as well. The Curdy membrane, it's an eight millimeter pliable sheet membrane and it's applied almost like wallpaper. 
you'll probably hate that I said that, but you use it with an unmodified thin set. Curdy board is, is this easy to cut XPS foam panel and it, it creates a complete waterproof assembly as a board. Um, you can use it for tile covering such as benches, niches, shelves, etc. And it allows you to do things in the shower without having to build things out of wood. As a remodeler, I prefer using the Curdy board because I'm less skilled with a trowel. These boards are easy to use and they are installed similar to drywall and Duroc, but way lighter, way, way lighter. They also, they can be cut easily with a utility blade and they are less messy than trying to cut and handle cement board. So for me, this means that I can cut inside right where I want to work, saving me time and less mess. Um, if you're careful in your installation, the Curdy board grid lines that are on the, printed on the board can be used to help locate your fasteners along studs. And I found that super easy and it, it allowed me to just kind of put my fasteners right in a vertical line. Schluter also offers as bases or trays that can be modified to fit your drain location, so a shower base. And that basically eliminates the mortar bed, um, that step completely because you've got a sloped uh, tray. Drain options. Uh, they offer a complete line of drains and they come with integrated bonding flanges and that basically ensures that the drain and the sloped pan or, or um, the membrane they use in work as an assembly for waterproofing, a complete system. Um, you can get square or lineal and they can come with uh, installed uh, prefabricated and sloped foam trays, the mortar bases. Uh, I talked earlier about those pipe penetration flanges. So traditional members always uh, methods always left a gap with the Duroc around the pipe penetrations, and I've always seen that gap, that hole, as an Achilles heel for cement board shower systems. So the Schluter, they have a pipe seal called Curdy Seal. It's a rubberized gasket with the flange around it, and that slides over the pipes or over the valve, making it a completely waterproof connection. There's a few tips that I picked up while using the Schluter system and the Curdy board. The Curdy board um, has grid lines on it. And when, if you use those grid lines, you can install your fasteners vertically and horizontal in a really nice horizontal plane. And that gives the clients the impression of professionalism. It really does a nice job at the visual. And when I was using the Curdy band, I would wrap it um, into strips, you know, roll it up and fold it up and overlapping layers. So just keep rolling it over and then I would make two cuts on either end and I would have tons of little patches to cover my fastener holes. Um, working with the Curdy board, I found that you could cut it with a knife, a saw, or a table saw. Um, and if you have repeated cuts, like a process that you do, like maybe you're gonna make a bunch of thresholds ahead of time with leftover scrap, pre-cutting your parts in the shop is an efficient and easy way to come up with precisely cut parts. Another tip I found when using the Curdy band is that you definitely want a two inch overlap everywhere in, in, to ensure that waterproof system. And that means in corners, outside the shower curbs, um, the joints between any sheets or any panels. The goal is to have waterproofing coverage from the drain to above the shower head. That's your goal. The other tip I learned was to use a, um, a one quarter by three sixteenths trowel and to try to keep your notching, your notches in one direction. Use a taping knife, a putty knife, and remove all of the air pockets between the Curdy band and the thin set. Just smooth it out nice. Um, another tip was Curdy band can be used to fix out of plumb, Curdy board can be used to fix out of plumb walls. You apply a fast setting LHT mortar to the wall studs, and basically you put the wall up, uh, the Curdy board up against that wall, and you use a level, and you get it plumb. You tap it, whatever you have to do to get it plumb, and then tack it in place with some screws. And then later after the mortar dries, you come back and you finish off your, your screwing. Um, last tip, you use your leftover curdy board to make shower curbs. I mentioned that a little bit earlier, but it's a great way to, to use up scrap and to save money. You save money on buying a curb. So I'm sure you're asking the question, is it worth the price? With tile installations, various unexpected issues arise, right? Especially if things aren't done right. With today's YouTube videos, websites, more and more DIYers are tackling projects like tiling and shower installations. While I'm a fan of DIY projects, I've been around long enough to see that many DIYers and frankly, unfortunately, some contractors look for ways to eliminate expenses by cutting corners. 
Cutting corners when you're waterproofing a shower can be one of the costliest mistakes you will make. And you maybe not know it right away, but you'll find out soon enough. So I feel that the Schluter system assembly, it's gonna provide you a superior waterproof protection. It's, I think it's cheaper than using the Duroc system. There's way less steps involved for me. Uh, the way less steps mean that there is less likely that a step will be skipped or missed. Bottom line, guys, the Schluter system eliminates leaks. It's going to reduce the potential for efflorescence and mold growth in, this, in the shower system and dramatically reduce your installation time. If you're reducing time, you're saving money. You're going to ensure yourself a waterproof, successful shower installation that is way easier than the old way that we used to do things. One more thing I want to leave you guys with, if, you, if, you're, a, if you're a DIYer, you're considering doing a shower installation, or you're having a um, contractor do it for you, make sure they have a waterproofing plan in their proposal. Research the plan, make sure you're comfortable with it. Is it waterproof? Is it moisture proof? Insist that your shower pan be flood tested before installing any tile. Basically, you fill it up with water, uh, plug the drain. Wait 24 hours and look for the, um, mark the water line and make sure it didn't drop and make sure there's no wicking. If there is any wicking or drop in water, fix the issue before you start putting tile on that shower. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, please subscribe. We welcome your feedback. Also check us out on Instagram and Facebook. We have two channels, toolboxbuzz.com where we talk about tools and conqueredcarpenter.com where we talk about remodeling and best practices in the construction industry. See you later.